What do you say about that, Mr. Scream? <laughs> Actually, it's pronounced Miliwake. Greg gets it. I love it. Nice. I don't. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's because you're a freak with a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Game on! <laughs> Game on! <laughs> Welcome to Craft Beer Republic, everybody. No cars here, and it's a damn good thing. I am Greg. I am being joined by everyone's favorite hop lover, McFlexen. What's hey, up, buddy? No cars and no psycho hose beasts. <laughs> I don't even have a gun, let alone many guns. <laughs> so Sorry, everybody. Okay. We'll, Do you have a rack? We'll, <laughs> yeah. well, we got a rack. <laughs> and joining us straight off of the the ship that sailed the salty seas is the saltiest sailor herself. That was hard to say. Erica, what's happening? Mick Salty, Mick the Salty only today, one with yeah. a rack here in the group here wow. today. Um. <laughs> I <laughs> nicely am offended, actually. I mean, the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You I'm sorry, it. you work hard for your rack, Flexi. I'm sorry. That's true. That's I true. Uh, he does. He really yeah. does. Yeah, I drink I had to hard go... for my rack, too. I drink hard for hey, my rack. Hey, you keep up the good work. <laughs> yeah, it's coming along nicely, I tell you. <laughs> sorry, everyone. It's good uh, to be thanks. here with you guys. That's good to have you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for drinking. Thanks for joining. Find us all on the socials at Necknosh LLC underscores in between. Flex me your beer underscores in between. And I listened back to the podcast last week. I was saying it was just flex, and I was like, "Oh, at flex me a beer underscores." And I went and at craft beer me a beer. <laughs> I, I totally like, caught that. Hey. I thought that was a joke. I didn't get it. Nope, I was just craft me a oh, beer. Okay, that's that checks out. And at craft it. me a beer. <laughs> it it does. It wasn't the worst thing I've ever said, but uh, totally didn't mean to. It was not a joke. So <laughs> just hope just, just so people flexes. weren't just searching for craft me a beer. Yeah, right. They're just like, where I wanted to follow this guy. We we're gonna get ten followers last week, but I was drunk. Two are so. finally becoming one, everyone, if you haven't yes. noticed. <laughs> Two years in the making. <laughs> yeah, it's finally going down. You know, we just celebrated uh Flex and I's anniversary last week. Oh. It popped up on the gram, his first show back before we were Craft Your Republic. Yeah, crazy. Uh, so yeah. I think I've been doing this for little... two years and people have been putting up with this Midwest accent yeah. for two years. That's I remember that was your first show, and then your computer said, uh, no more shows. Yeah, it was then, something uh, with the, the website or the computer or something or another. Yeah, the computer needed to be updated and hadn't been updated, I think, in like eight and a half something years. Like that. And then, yeah, so we ended up fixed and Flex went and got a different computer. Mm -hmm. And so then he rejoined, and uh, the sexiness has happened ever <laughs> since. <laughs> so, and yeah, now I am the Craft Beer Republic. That's right. The one and only. Oh, man. All right. Lots to get to today. We have two, count them, two voicemails to Damn. get to. Uh, none of them from Chu. That's right. shocking. Wow. But yeah, still I hope you okay. okay. Do we do a well person check or a whatever well, they call that? A wellness check. check. Yeah. <laughs> should, should we call the police? I just want to make sure he's still okay out there. Um, I have had quite the week of, of beer and brewing. I'll get to that in a little bit. Some booze news to get through. And so much more. But first, let's uh, fix this hydration situation that I'm dealing with right now. I was getting beer out for the show, and I was looking at my fridge. I was like, man, I've had a lot of this on the show already. What am I going to do? I started like reach back towards the back of the fridge where like all the big beers are because you don't want those on a daily basis. And I found this gem. So I'm drinking Russian River Brewing's Shadow of a Doubt Imperial Porter. This clocks in at a very crushable 9.6%. Super crushable. <laughs> Has a 404 on Untapped and a 92 on Be Your Advocate. They say named after the great Hitchcock movie filmed in Santa Rosa in 1943. This Imperial Porter packs a rich chocolate, cocoa, toffee, dark coffee, and lightly smoked malt character with a very soft, dry finish. There is subtle hot bitterness and hints of tobacco. I hate when people 
describe like wine with like tobacco flavor. You get a like, lot of bourbon with what, that too, yeah. It's like, what the fuck does tobacco... Who's chewing on... Just like they open up a cigarette, like, oh yeah, this is what tobacco tastes like. <laughs> well, I mean, like. there I mean, is chewing know, tobacco, Greg. It's just Sure, I'm yeah, sure yeah. there are still people Cigarettes that do that. Cigarettes have a tobacco flavor. Yeah. But so I've just, heard. It, it's weird. I don't... I don't know. Don't you describe ever smell it smell tobacco? tobacco? It usually... It kind of smells mm-hmm. pretty good. Yeah. They put it in cologne now, right? Tobacco and leather and... Like actual tobacco and cologne? Yeah, like this, they, oh. they try to make it smell like tobacco. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, you know, I'm sure for they the do. trashy, you know, where? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, your beer. Saying. I know what she's saying. <laughs> Walk right? around your double wide, smell like <laughs> yeah, tobacco. Right. <laughs> but great, it's probably it's probably uh, porter weather still in California, right? Imperial porter it, weather, dude. It, not normally, but uh, as we record, there's rain coming in. Tomorrow, there's gonna be like some crazy winds. They're saying, but uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. But uh, this beer, so this is over a year old. Like I said, I found the back of the fridge. It has definitely lost some carbonation. When I popped the bottle top, there was no which worried me. On the schnoz, I get a lot of chocolate, a little bit of coffee. Looks like it's leaving some nice get... lacing on it, too. Pretty lacing. I, yeah. I could that see wild. Flex yeah. like eyeball on that lacing. He I was, was glad all to over see it. it still fluffed up a little bit. I was afraid it wouldn't. Daddy like. You know, no carbonation. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, so uh, on the schnoz, mostly alcohol, a lot of the chocolate and coffee uh, smell. Let me warm up the tongue job right here. Go for it up. <laughs> like a bird yeah, call. That was like a whisper bird call. I like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> very sensual, very I, sexy. Yeah. Um, a lot of, I guess that'd be toffee. It's not quite chocolatey. Uh, some bitterness, like coffee bitterness, some warmth from that booze. Very low carbonation, which uh, I'm pretty sure is not on purpose. I've had this before. I, I'm, I'm very familiar with it. I mean, it's been like a couple of years, but uh, definitely had it before. Not bad for uh, how old it is. When it's fresh, it's quite delicious. Um, and I will do my best to not let that happen again because it's a little on the flat side. But overall, Sherlock Holmes put it in his pipe and smoke it. I guess that's that's <laughs> the real question: is the tobacco there or not? I guess, like, I get some of that. I went to Vegas last night. Taste on the on the finish, like on the. Aftertaste. I would say that's tobacco. That must be tobacco. <laughs> like, what else? What else would that be, right? <laughs> so, uh, anyways, cheers, Russian River. This is uh, this is always a good one when it's cold out, and let's see how I do with nine point six all by myself. Uh, top listening city. We used to do this all the time. Top listening city of the week. Yeah. And uh, the podcast provider that we use like changed their stats, and I wasn't able to do it. But I found a new way of finding that we've switched providers and I found a new way of looking up city stats. Wait, when Greg so, says uh, we, he means he. I just want yeah, everybody to know fair. that. Just make that very clear. <laughs> yeah. Flex does nothing. Maybe chat GPT looked back. it up for me or something. Yeah, oh, yeah. Using AI. <laughs> yeah. Using AI for my podcast. Did it, did it do your workflow template? Now that I think no, about I it. wish. It would have been way easier. <laughs> I should have asked it to. I should. I wonder if I, I could bet, send it all my stories tried. and be like, put this in order for me so people will listen. Yeah. So anyways, top listening city last week was Seattle. So hi, Seattle. What up? Uh, What's up, yeah. Pacific Northwest? I used to spend a lot of time in Seattle. Maybe I know some people up there. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I love me some used Seattle, watch man. I've, I've, Hockey uh, games. Starbucks, right? The first time. Starbucks? Hey. The first time I, <laughs> hey. first time I ever had a growler was in Seattle. This was many moons ago. And we went to Widmer. My my friend and his girlfriend moved up there for like two years for uh, work. And we went to Widmer back when they were, I think they were still craft at this point. Mm-hmm. And um, ate dinner, great food. And they're like, do you want to take some beer to go? And this is before everybody canned and all that stuff. And I was like, yeah, what do we got? He was like, oh, we're having a growler special. I was like, what the fuck is a growler? That's a funny name. And so uh, we got a growler of who knows what, I'm sure half. We were at Widmer Brothers. And my buddy's wife, well, then girlfriend, Put it in her purse and carried it around downtown Seattle all night. So we were just hitting off the growler the entire time as we we're creating, you know, shenanigans. That's awesome. And a nice. growler could not fit in cargo shorts, by the way. No, <laughs> yeah. it cannot. Cargo shorts are great, but they're not that great. <laughs> so uh yeah, we were drinking some warm uh some warm hef by the end of the night, which is always which is always great. Warm hef, warm banana. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Better than a cold banana. I think of Washington. <laughs> I think of uh, black sheep. Oh, that's oh, all, that's, right. That's all I ever yeah. think of when I hear the state of Washington. Chris Farley. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Such that was a, a good classic one. Movie. There's a ball of pudding 
in my underpants. Well, we didn't have any pudding in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, last week, Petals and Pints had their three-year anniversary. Oh, shoot. Monica. Happy anniversary, guys. Yeah. Oh. They opened, their first day, their soft opening, was the day the governor of California uh, announced the shutdown. So it was the day before shutdown. And I remember Dang. we were at brunch with a couple of people and we got the alert that they were shutting down the next day. And so um, good COVID observing people, we grabbed an Uber, went to 14 Cannons, got shittered, and then saw on the gram that uh, Pedals was having their soft op- opening. Like, let's go to Pedals. <laughs> so then we Ubered there. <laughs> then I guess everyone had that idea and or nobody wanted to drive Ubers anymore because getting home was a real son of a Dang. bitch. Oh. Yeah, but uh, hey, we made it. Here well, we hell, are. Hell, good so, for that, man. Uh, That's crazy. Yeah, for holding strong through all that. Opening up right during the lockdown. That's insane. That's yeah. super impressive. I mean, obviously, they didn't know it was going to well, happen, but yeah, day one was the day before. Oh, really, and... Greg? They didn't know it was going to Come on. <laughs> I flipped you off, but nobody could see me doing it. You I'm sorry. Dick. I'm in asshole mode right now. So, yeah. Just now? <laughs> Only. Wow. Now. I love you so wow. much. <laughs> wow. 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 You know, wow. I've actually worked so, that into my everyday life. People people will <laughs> say things to me and I will just go, wow. <laughs> do they know you're being an no, asshole? No, they do don't. <laughs> I have no idea. They just think you're a freak. <laughs> yeah. Like, what's it's up like, with them? It's, they think I'm just sincerely saying, wow. Uh, oh, just wow. Totally Owen wilson them. Yeah, I think you're just real excited about it. Wow. That. Well, anyways, we hung out with the crew. Nick and Nicole were there. Uh, Wiley was there. Listener Michael was there. Monica, of course, was there. Uh, Britt from Naughty Pine. Uh, hung out with James, Monica's husband. The, the whole everybody from everywhere that lives down here was there. So that was great. Michael, um, this will surprise anybody that knows him, was real hydrated. And he kept <laughs> he kept running back and forth between our table and like where Britt and Monica was. And like trying to work out something where they would come on the show. Something about women's you know, International Women's Month and like talk about pink boots. It's actually a really good idea. He was just real hammered and no one was totally sure what he was talking about. And uh, like come on our show. Yeah. Like he was saying, let's okay. have Britt and, and Monica come on and talk about Women's Month and like pink boots, bruise and that kind of stuff. I was like, yeah, right. On. Sure. Makes yeah. Sense. I'd love to sure. have him on. So we have been talking about having the, the both of them on because uh, Britt doesn't want to do it by herself because she's nervous. Um, oh come on! But it'll be great. She does great too. She's, I know she's so good. She's, just, she's I'm so nervous. I'm like you're, you're so good at yeah, this, stuff. right? And just you know stuff. when we had Monica on, Monica seemed so quiet before getting at, like actually recording, mm-hmm. and then she got on and she was just stellar, yeah. like supernatural. We we're at the the thing, and and Nick and I are always quoting Fast and the Furious. And at one point, I went Monica. And she turned. She's like, "What?" I was like, "Oh no, sorry, <laughs> not you." <laughs> Fast and the Furious, Monica. <laughs> Um, but anyways, back to Michael and his hydratedness. He left a voicemail like right after I left about getting them on the show, and so um, good luck understanding this or all of it. Some of it we can understand. Hello, no one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Maybe my ass, Greg. I'm here at uh, Pedals and Pipes. I got Monica and Brittany, and also Emmett O'Scanlan. So you might more recognize the Sonica's husband, and also Chris of the Cloud Tail fame. Sonica wants to say hi, so here she is. We just said bye to Brittany. She's going to do her own podcast. But hello, how are you? Hi, Vanessa. And uh, I'm going to give you back to David over here. Hello? Hello? No one? Oh. I thought, hey, how's it going? Hey there, Craft Beer Republic. How are we doing today? This is uh, James, also known as Scanlon, doing his thing and uh, having a good time at uh, Pedal Pine's three year anniversary. You should come, but by the time you hear this, it's probably over. So, stuck to stuck. Okay, so I have a uh, payment for my arrangement of the Monica slash Brittany podcast. I'll take that in homebrewed beer. Thank you. Have a pleasant day. Okay, we will try to have a pleasant day. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Didn't it, though? Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. 
It was like you could hear what he said in the first part, and then the phone passed, and then it was like he had four more beers in the meantime. <laughs> yeah, right. You just hear him pounding <laughs> them. Back on the phone. Somebody talk. I think that's exactly what happened. Uh, if you guys want to call in, 805-53-BEER-2337, that is the number to call. Please call in. We do have one more voicemail today. Over the weekend, 14 Cannons had their Pink Boots Brew Day. I was uh, graciously invited. I don't know why they invited me, but I'm glad they did. Uh, of course, they invited the wife. Coley was there with BDN. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we call Big Dig Man. <laughs> I so sent good. them a Christmas card with BDN as his name. Did you? Oh, I totally did. That is amazing. That's I had to throw that in there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah very oh, is it accurate, Greg? <laughs> yeah. So I've been told. <laughs> I'm not cheating on you, Flex. Don't worry. The size just of an alligator I just lizard. wanted to hear the story. That's all. Oh, that's just what I heard. Uh, <laughs> Uh, anyway, so Coley and BDN were there. So, of course, was Nick, uh, head brewer. Emily, the taproom manager, she set it all up. Monica and Britt were there. Uh, Deb showed up with her daughter. And uh, we had a, and a few other people. We had we had fun. We had a couple beers. We brewed. Uh, they're doing a West Coast IPA over there. Monica did a Hazy. 14's doing a West Coast. Britt's doing a Belgian IPA. So uh, excited for this hops. The, the hop blend this year smells so fucking good. It is super pineapple-y. It smells like a cocktail. Like you rub it in your hand, just the hops are like cocktail for sure. Like it smells so good. It's very pineapple and tropical. And- well, for you, wouldn't it be pineapple? Yeah, it's, it's I said the pineapple. It's the pineapple. Okay. There's no real fruit. Inside. I can't get okay. over that. It Perfect. smelled like a cocktail in your hand. Tail. I, I think yeah. You pause there for a second. Oh, I- the computer freeze. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's actually frozen. what happened. Erica was having some troubles earlier. I, I must be having some yeah. troubles now. <laughs> Thanks for yeah. making me feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just having tech problems today. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, Super that was, that was good things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very tech. <laughs> so thanks to 14 Cans for having us out there. That was a blast. And uh, finally, Loggerville. Loggerville coming up April 15th. It's a big festival in Central California. All about loggers, obviously. We have partnered up with, with Loggerville. With, and who else? Is somebody else doing something for Loggerville? Uh, such as? Oh, I thought Oh, thought uh, Erica was going to do... Oh, did, I'm so I'm so sending all you guys some nosh. Oh, yeah. yes. And I'm going to make a special one for Wiley. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for that one. Yeah. Certain pictures on it. Um, yeah. But we've partnered up with Loggerville, and if you guys are looking for some tickets, April 15th, uh, use code nice. CBRVIP, get five bucks off VIP tickets. So uh, go do it. We'll be there. Uh, Nick and Nicole will be there. Chew's going to be there. The homie Chew Your Beer. Wiley from the Booze League is going to be there. A bunch of breweries, of course, are going to be there. So uh, looking forward to getting hydrated up at Loggerville. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Logger is a cool, like, it's an attainable festival where you may leave there and actually still be walking well that's what right. i was thinking I, I may have less regrets yeah like it isn't like a all day drinking beers at a festival yeah there's a day i mean i'm sure there'll be like somebody who's gonna try and fuck with you and bring like a baltic porter it's a lager <laughs> <laughs> but uh overall i'm looking forward to it so stay on staying up there getting hydrated it's gonna be fun so come on out cbr vip is the code to use you get five bucks off and uh, find us. We'll be rocking some sweet neck nosh as we walk around the festival. Yep. St. Patrick's Day was this weekend. You guys do anything good? Did you get hammered on St. Patrick's Day? Uh, no, actually. Uh, but. Sorry to hear that. What? Not on St. Patrick's Day. I don't know. I was, I was all getting ready. Like, I was looking for some day beers and just like having an, not like a great time while the kids were at school, but you know, just like a. <laughs> Be a little adulty, but indulge. And turns out it was just like super productive St. Patrick's Day for us. But the day after is when my sister in law and her husband put together like the whole corned beef meal with the mm-hmm. potatoes and mm-hmm. the carrots and all the fixings and whatnot. And apparently they did this last year, which I don't remember. But my sister in law's husband, <laughs> once everybody out there, started pouring shots for everybody. Oh. I do not recall having shots last year. And uh, so he did a round of shots. Everybody had a beer or two. And then he comes back out with the Irish whiskey. And he's like, hey, who's ready for round two? Well, I, I don't want round two, Greg. I don't do shots. Oh, yeah. I feel but like... my father-in-law raises his hand. Oh. And he oh, says, no. fill it up. And I can't let my father-in-law drink round no. two shots yeah. without 
cannot me doing round two. No, that'd be awful. So I, I had to do another shot, which I really hate fucking doing, but but I did it. And then had a little uh, dessert liqueur after dinner, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> turns out I got a little bit more schnockered than I wanted to, but uh, all in all, it was a super good day after St. Patty's Day. Okay. So, okay. Not too yeah, shabby. I'll take yeah. it. Oh. Yeah. Erica, do anything crazy over there? My St. Patrick's Day was quite adulty. And, oh, adulty. Um, that sounds it was, interesting. It was adulty. Um, no, I wanted a black and tan, so... We went out and I had one of those, which is a pale. You guys have had those, right? A pale with a dark bottle. Yeah, on top. Like my sister in law's husband was yeah. serving them up. Yeah, they're just, I don't know, traditional kind of thing. And then um, we bought a UTV because we have basically a farm and we're getting goats. So um, that oh. was kind of fun. Oh, which is, like a like a quad UTV. Like, yeah, it's like a utility task vehicle right. kind of thing. My first thought when you said that was like ultra HD television, UTV. Oh, oh but TV. Yeah. TV, it's but yes, all about the, you. The, the adult theme did also make me think of a UT, <laughs> UTI. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that was fun. We haven't received it yet, but they let us like whip it around the parking lot at the motorsports place and that was fun. And then came home and had corned beef and drank some right. more because you gotta you, have corned beef. Flex, are you only thinking about Stone Cold riding down to the ring on his quad? Um, it crossed my oh, mind. Oh, you guys! <laughs> <laughs> and then lapping the ring for no apparent yes. reason. I need to see McDreamy riding the quad, <laughs> beer in hand. Yeah, no, actually, people. there's two cup holders, but they're really far apart. And I was like, when I'm driving this by myself. I'd be able to reach both beers and the guy looked at me like what the hell <laughs> <laughs> You're like these are important I'm questions like, is it illegal to drink and drive a UTV I doubt it so I'm on my own property so yeah what are you gonna do all right so definitely nice. I'm excited well, anything's legal until you get caught just remember that oh right well yeah <laughs> touche <laughs> touche hashtag Milwaukee Milwaukee <laughs> Milwaukee <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, uh, yeah, our St. Patrick's Day was a little low key because cops were a plenty. So Ooh. Friday night, we did dinner with some family, and then we went over to Naughty Pine because she was releasing her rye black IPA again. And that like, sounds she hasn't really had interesting. Year. Oh way. my god, he, it um, is so fucking good. And this year, it's even chocolate or chocolate 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 words. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, chocolate ear. <laughs> Well, chocolate here is someone who makes chocolate. Here? But Gross. Uh, anyway, chocolate ear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, uh, moss chocolate than the last time, and it is delicious. So we had one of those, and we only got there like right before closing. So we just had one. Then, luckily, Fourteen Cannons closes an hour later. We ran over to Fourteen Cannons where they just released re-released their Liquid Gold, which I loved, which was sort of the basis for Morning Watch, the collab we did with them, yeah. because. They ran out of liquid gold, and I yelled at Nick, like, you must have more liquid gold. And he goes, well, we're not going to make it anymore because it didn't sell that well, but let's come up with another idea. And that's where, like, that's how our collab was born. So uh, liquid gold, he added more vanilla this time. If anyone's had it, he had more vanilla, and he got a little bit different roast on his coffee from uh, California Coffee Republic. Fucking delicious. But we legit had two beers St. Patrick's Day. That was it. That was it. Holy uh, cow. Dang. Saturday, we fucking made up for it. We went full amateur hour on Saturday. So we had our wine pickup party for one of our wine clubs. We went and did that. We've made friends with a couple of people that work there. So they just fucking pour it on. And then Nick and Nicole were like, hey, what are you guys doing tonight? I was like, well, we were thinking about trying this uh, Chabu place. You know, like you cook the, the food in the broth thing. And so they came along with us. We went there. And after having all that wine, we went there. We had uh, some hot sake and some beers. And then after we were done with that, we went across the street to Oak and Iron and had some fancy cocktails. <laughs> My goodness. And then woke up the next morning real fucking toasty. It was a, like I woke up immediately was like, liquid IV. I need a liquid IV. And then made like a super greasy breakfast. And then we had to go to uh, 14 Cannons Pink Boots. So. Oh. Yeah. But uh, yeah. we made it. We're fucking troopers. You but, lost boy. me on hot sake. Oof. Does that, oh, does that liquid sake. IV really help you? Oh, yeah. It's a fucking lifesaver, man. I wish they would sponsor the show so I get free shit. <laughs> yeah. It is good. If you good see stuff. them, 
Yeah. I have seen him around. Almost as but good as Dr. Pepper, right? I've never snagged mm-hmm. it. Dude, Erica, that's a good idea. You should have a recovery necklace where it's like a bunch of pretzels and a liquid, liquid IV in the center. Oh, shit. Done. Yeah. I could punch a hole in that. Put yep. it. Yeah. That is pretty brilliant. Put a string on it. A million bucks right there. Thank you. Yeah. I'm on it. I'm going to you... send it to you. I'm going to send it to you yes. for Lager so you can uh, just kind of try the prototype. Yeah. I can't wait. You, you okay. should call it the recovery necklace. That'd be so good. It's perfect. Yep, uh, I have some. All right, excited, we're good. So. Uh, so anyways, yeah, we got real ham skis. Now you're excited as if you weren't already. <laughs> I wasn't before. <laughs> I'm excited. But finally, I am excited. Now I can get you know. fucked up and have a necklace to rehydrate me. <laughs> right? <Woo-hoo. laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, ludicrous libation law this week. Remember last week, we got one sent into us by Chris from Michigan, and it was talking about how it's was illegal for one? diners. Yeah, it's illegal for diners to take home their unfinished alcohol. And we were like, yeah, it's yeah, illegal it's everywhere to take pretty home. Pretty normal, right. Alcohol. Seems like. Yeah. So we got one sent to us by the drinking lawyer on the gram. The drinking lawyer. Is, is he actually a lawyer? I, I'm going to hope so. I hope it's uh, you know not libel or whatever it is when you make shit up. Uh, he says Rhode Island allows for people to take a bottle of wine to go after resealing it. And I said, does jamming the cork back in the yeah. bottle count as resealing it? And he says it does. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, to me, that's not much of a reseal. Well, but, but technically you're resealing it. I mean, in the lie, in the eyes of Rhode Island law, you are definitely wow. resealing it. I mean, it's like okay. twist capping something back tight, right? Like a, a soda bottle with a twist cap. You know, I guess. You yeah. Twist it back up and reseals it. But but now you're yeah, trusting guess, a bunch of drunks to not open it in the car. But it's right. also Rhode Island. You could just pop it back on, exactly. pop it off, pop it back on. There, it's like, like saying putting a piece of tape over your beer can counts. people that yeah, live in Rhode Island? Tape. Well, the good thing about th- Rhode Island, I think it takes a solid 17 minutes to get across the entire state. So <laughs> yeah. how much damage are they going to do? Probably not much. Is, that, is, there, is there much in Rhode Island? I don't know. Right? I mean, I've never been. It's got to be like Delaware, right? Or hey, hey, the drinking lawyer. Is there much in? Rhode Island? <laughs> is he from Rhode Island, or does he just I, know this? I just guessed he was from there since he knew that. Why? I don't know anything about Rhode Island law. Do you? I'm, a- I'm like, actually well, actually fresh no. out of knowledge. Absolutely not. Yes, of Rhode yeah. Island. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So, uh, anyways, thanks the drinking lawyer. Thanks for the uh, the insight. Let us know if a you're from Rhode Island and b what the fuck there is to do in Rhode Island. That'd be much appreciated. And it's not Please even an island. You. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the roads don't connect so, to anything out of state. It's <laughs> making it a road. Road island. island. Oh, damn. What You're can good, I say? Greg. Yep. Genius. And on that note. <laughs> Knowledge. <laughs> right there. All right. Before we, to the, mo- <laughs> before we move on to some news, we have a voicemail from a quite hydrated beer girl, Melissa. Hey, Greg. Hey, Slags. It's Beer Girl Melissa. And, um, you know, I needed to leave a little bit of a drunk voicemail right now in the midst of Scandaval. If you know, you know, and you watch um, Vanderpump Rules, then you really know. We don't. But I have a question for you both. I want to know, when you send beer mail, does the handwriting matter? I've had a few people say to me that my handwriting is in the sewer, meaning it's poor. Um, I am left-handed. I am also a nurse. I feel like that speaks volume. So really quickly, because I am not to your beer, <laughs> handwriting, does it matter? And do you judge someone? Uh, keep doing what you're doing and invite me back because I would love to discuss this uh, on the podcast. But otherwise, just uh, put me on the show because I feel like I deserve to be there. All right, peace. Good night. <laughs> you absolutely deserve well, to be here. Don't you worry. Mel, uh, Holmes. Uh, is Noel. I, uh, yeah, Noel. Thanks, too. Uh, I, I don't don't think handwriting matters. Um, and isn't it like a fact that the smarter you are, the sloppier your, your handwriting is? I hope so, because mine is illegible. I, th- I think that's like a actual thing. It's possible. Like a thingy. Is that why doctor's yeah. writing is so bad? Oh, McDreamy like is awful. We've I was going to ask you how his I writing can, was. Can't freaking read it. And he's in denial yeah. about it. So, and he's pretty damn smart. My, my, so. Oh, that's even worse. Say, he's in denial. I, like, I know mine is absolute, like, two-year-old trash but at least i know it no my, my best friend is an actuary and his handwriting is atrocious mm. so i yeah i say it's it correlates it, it yeah 
But if you're if you're writing on my beer mail, I don't give a shit. Little backstory: She's sending me a box of beer. Uh, not that we do that because that's not legal. But uh, she sent me a picture that she was packaging it all up, and I look <laughs> I looked at the address, and I was like, "Who the fuck wrote this? Did you close your eyes and take a <laughs> shot at the same time?" Like, <laughs> so that's the backstory to her writing. Uh, all right, before we get on to some news, let's make a call to the pen. Beer. Hey, friends, I have some Deschutes beer today, Ooh. Um, which was my first love of craft beer. It came from Deschutes Brewery in Bend, Oregon. So mm. it's a little throwback there. I will never there. stop loving Black Butte. Oh, exactly. That that was it. Mm. Um, it was just as Black Butte and Mirror Pond and they're amazing. So today it is Haze Tron, which Kind of goes with our techie episode, the Tron, because like we're having of. some Haze Tron. And I got a Pac-Man shirt on, which is kind of a, you know, kind of oh, fits. Yeah. Um, Legit, it, like where it cut off, I sort of thought you had wieners on your shirt. Oh, <laughs> let, me, let me help you out there. Yeah, sorry, those Makes little nubbins. Now. Yeah, those like, nubbins like the top has little right Pac-Man of. guys. <laughs> right, right. But like you couldn't see the bottom like squiggly parts of them. I was like, she's wearing Pull your head out, shirt. Greg. We got Haze Tron. And sorry, sorry. Haze sorry, you, shoot, you don't deserve this. No, you don't. I mean, these are a class act, these folks. Um, and it is an Imperial, which is, it's a double New England, 8% ABV, 55 IBUs. And they have a really nice, just sweet and short, like, explanation here. It's exploding with big tropical hop character from experimental varietals and modern hopping techniques. Damn, that's pretty short okay. and sweet. Yeah. Okay, because they don't need to. They're Deschutes. You're going to love it. You don't You don't need all the hyped up bullshit. It's Deschutes. Well, and after, like, a paragraph and a half, what are you really learning? What do you... I'm. Yeah, exactly. I know we got some nice tropical hop character. Um, and you look at it, it's, an, it's a dark kind of a dark yellow it did have some nice head on it it's got a bit of a citrusy aroma i'll dig in dig in it's almost gone with your wiener shirt <laughs> half wiener shirt half half wiener wiener shirt. shirt. <laughs> just the tip just, just the tips <laughs> right there don't put any yeah. wieners okay. on your necklaces <laughs> <laughs> I will not. Thank you Bachelor for that tip. Come on. Every little bit of advice helps. Thank you for that, Flex. <laughs> um, yeah. Speaking of that, it's got a bit of a yeasty taste to it, mm. um, which is, you know, kind of nice. It's very smooth. It's got a creamy mouthfeel, okay. um, which is great. And it's, uh, yeah, it's smooth. You got an Imperial and it's it's just not kicking your ass with the, the hop character. It's just nice and, and moderate and finishes pretty clean uh, a little bit of an orangey citrus i don't know it's, it's great and i am super soaked the reason i picked this is actually we're gonna go do the bend ale trail in a few weeks Ooh. yes um so we are gonna spend some time in bend and get a check out worthy brewing and boneyard and deschutes and all that cool stuff That's so awesome. i'm excited and yeah love deschutes um, would you buy that beer again i would absolutely buy this beer again and okay. it is, it comes in the 12 ounce can, um, which sometimes is nice. You know, Especially I am kind of lightweight. you a little higher up there, you're getting that 8%. Right. You may not, maybe don't want a 16 ounce can. Right. I mean, if you were flex, you'd need to drink the whole six pack to even kind of get a little warm. Sure. But for me, two of these and I am golden, right? So. Yeah. Perfect. I mean, and, and he's over had... there napping from a sour fest. Two of them? <laughs> <laughs> I have. <laughs> and she's golden. Yeah. I know. I'm just like, let me review this because it's almost gone. Sorry. And yeah, it's fair. No, it's good. Talk too much. I'm, no, it's good. It's and the beer is good. So I just kept drinking it. Um. So yeah. And Deschutes used to put on a festival here in Sacramento. I'm so sad they don't do it anymore. And they would like block off the streets and oh. set up these cool like bars right in the middle of the street and do all their beers on tap. It was it was cool. And they do. I want to say Rhode Island is one of the places they do it. Deschutes. <laughs> It's All right, we found out one pub. thing that happens in Rhode Island. I don't know. It might be in Rhode Island. I Googled to shoot Street Pub. I don't know if they still do it, but it was pretty rad. Um, they and must I had fly in any, any, any festival that blocks islands. off streets, you know yeah. it's going to be pretty legit. <laughs> that is true. Right? Yeah. Exactly. So, Very nice. anyways, cheers to the shoots. This is yeah, a good cheers, one. Cheers to the shoots. It's been a fucking minute. I need to get yeah. that. Uh, All right, a little bit of news to get through in what can only be described as fucking disgusting. 
Sunny D is coming out with the Sunny D vodka seltzer. So bad. So bad. I don't even want Sunny D without vodka. No. I especially don't want it. Like, it's like, the taste really? is bad enough. Having it as a kid yeah. is fine. And then growing up and yeah. realizing like what it is, you're just like, That's yeah, true. I haven't had it since I was pass. a kid. Do you remember when they came out with the other version of Sunny D? Like the original Grape? Sunny D is like Florida orange juice. No. And then they came out, and maybe this is just in California. They came out with a California orange juice as well. And oh. it was fucking disgusting. Yeah. I was like, orange is orange. Why is California gross and Florida is good? Like it was so oh, bad. Weird. No, I remember yeah. them coming out with a, a Sunny D grape. And it was the worst that. thing I've ever had in my entire life. And it's actually what threw me off of ever drinking Sunny D ever again. Yeah. I, I can tell you I won't be trying these. So uh, Us Goonies only got the original Sunny D, so yeah. I feel like that's okay. Yeah, I think you you dodged a bullet there. With yeah, that sounds like it. Quite all right. Uh, it's going to be 4.5%. It's going to have 95 calories, no added sugar, and they're going to do a 12-ounce Slim four packs for 10 bucks each. Doesn't regular Sunny D have more calories than that? I'm yeah. sure it does. How could it not? It's like... <laughs> Completely fake. <laughs> not even right. real orange juice. Bizarre. Comes with a side of cancer. Yeah, exactly. awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's not a side of. It's mostly cancer. It's mostly cancer. It's a side of orange juice. Side of diabetes. Side of orange juice. Yeah. <laughs> Full helping of cancer. Uh, and, and more grossness, Constellation Brands is going to be releasing a non-alcoholic Corona. That's dumb. Yeah, so for those of you who love the taste of Corona but don't want to catch a buzz... <laughs> <laughs> That's like the one thing you put up with just to get a buzz. Exactly. Right. Man, this fucking sucks, but I'm going to get drunk. <laughs> right. It's going to take 19 100%. of them, but I am going to catch a buzz. No, instead, it's like, hey, <laughs> Not anymore. how about you just, uh, instead of drinking a non-alcoholic Corona, go hit a skunk and then take that skunk and then just carry it around with you everywhere you fucking go. Congratulations, you've just had a non-alcoholic Corona. <laughs> Somehow drink said skunk. There yeah, yeah, it's just, yeah. it's the same Milk thing. the skunk. Just don't fucking <laughs> Missed go. Missed a step, but we got you. We got gotcha. you. Yeah, exactly. It's, no Ooh. thanks, hard pass. Um, a year after they said they were going to leave, Heineken has yet to leave Russia. They're still selling their beers and other brands. They've even brought in more products to Russia after saying they were going to leave, so... It's not even just that they're maintaining, they're, they're, they're adding to. When asked about it, they basically said, well, we were going to have to file for bankruptcy, and if we file for bankruptcy because it's international, we could face criminal charges as well as, as well as some of our managers in Russia. So they're trying to figure it out. I'm like, everybody else is like McDonald's left, Starbucks left, like all the other big companies that left, <laughs> they figured it out. Suspect. Is that why yeah. Bill Gates bought stake in it? Yeah, because he's, he's secretly Russian. Secret, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Full circle. Uh, we'll end it with this real quick because uh, we need to get a rise out of flex. Is it a list? The thir- the 13 <laughs> best American pale ales available in most stores right now. Okay, so number one, zombie dust. I'm Could sure that's... Some Deschutes in there. Yeah, they did. This comes from Hop Culture. Uh, the first one is Mirror Pond hey. from Deschutes. Look at that. Number one? Beer. It's it's so here's the thing they didn't list them they didn't like do a top thirteen oh, okay. it's just thirteen I wish okay. they would have rated them but Mirror Pond is the first one they list and it is delicious I love a good mm-hmm. Mirror Pond love it next up Dogfish Head Shelter Pale Ale I've never had that never. one Drake's fifteen hundred I've probably had it, had it it's not that point. good actually I don't think so but okay I don't love Drake's for the most part it's okay uh, you know but whatever not my jam. Flying dog, doggy style, <laughs> pale ale. Flying dog stuff's all right. I mean, haven't had that flying dog. Yeah, I've never had one from them that I love. Uh, Half Acres Daisy Cutter Pale. That one's pretty That's good. That's pretty good, yeah. Night Shifts Whirlpool. Never had it. Uh, Oscar Blues Dale's Pale Ale. I think that's a horrible beer. It's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I think Our it's pretty bad. Yeah. Do you, Don't know how this they one used made to the sell list. Col- uh, I'm sorry. Real quick, they used to sell cases yeah. of Dale Pale Ale at the local Walgreens for like nine bucks. All right, it makes it a little more worth it. <laughs> That's pretty yeah. cheap. Can't even there's, get Budweiser. But. There's some Oscar Blues that I've liked, but that one's never been on my list. Oh, I love their Good Night. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Cla- no surprise classic. there. Yeah, classic. Six Point Sweet Action. 
Pale Ale. Never heard of it. It's out of New York. Nope. This isn't even Craft Sweetwater 420 Extra Pale Ale. Uh, Surly Extra Citra Pale Ale. Never had Never that, heard of it. but I've had some Surly. Here's one I think we can all get behind. Toppling Goliath's Pseudo Sue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 100 yeah. Good Pale. Yeah. Uh, Trogue's Haze Charmer. Never had East it. Coast, I'm assuming. I think that's Philly, right? Or somewhere in Pennsylvania. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Somewhere in Pennsylvania. Yeah. Uh good for them. Yeah. I, I guess at the twenty twenty US Beer Tasting Championship, they won best of the Mid Atlantic, Mid Atlantic Paleo. Again, yeah, I don't know means. what Mid Atlantic means, because that just to me it says you're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> it came straight from the Bermuda Triangle. Right. <laughs> what else could that what mean? What does Mid Atlantic actually mean? on an mean? island, but not Rhode I, I mean, island. I know it was like yeah. a wrestling federation at one point, Mid Atlantic Championship Wrestling, but beyond <laughs> that, I, I got nothing. That's it. We'll end it there. That was, that <laughs> we'll, was a we'll stop decent the, enough, you know, list. Yeah. We'll stop it there before we get more tech problems. I think we've. Yeah. We've, tech, yes. we've yeah. had our fair share. We've had our Episode. fair share. We'll uh we'll say goodbye to everybody. One more hi to Vanessa. Hi Vanessa. Hey Vanessa. And uh, thanks to Erica for hanging out with her wiener shirt with us today. Half right. wiener shirt. Happy Half to shirt. just a tip. Entertain you guys. Exactly. There's right. a one last little. Woo. Oh now her wieners are dancing. That's so weird. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they are Pac Man. Oh sorry, Pac Man. Uh, find See. her on the grams at necknosh LLC underscores in between. Look for that uh, recovery necklace coming yes. soon. I hope to necknosh. Coming in hot, real soon, you yeah. guys. Flex me a beer underscores in between, and of course, craft beer republic. Don't forget eight zero five five three eight beer two three three seven. I do believe that is everything. Thanks for staying well hydrated, Greg. Oh yeah. Hope everyone stays very well <laughs> hydrated out there. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> good night, everybody. That was sloppy. <laughs>